Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way, trying as always to walk back from China to my home in Germany. Today is December the 4th, 2018, and we're in a cave. Let me show you guys. So, uh, this structure here is called Uplistige. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but I'm trying. It's a very, very, very old uh, settlement here. One of the oldest important settlements in Georgia and probably in the whole region. Uh, dates from uh, different times, the oldest being the Bronze Age, so it's like several thousand years old. People cutting stuff from the rocks here and then, you know, having their, their little living rooms in here. Uh, you know the deal, Netflix, PlayStation, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, believe me when I say the vista is pretty nice, the view is awesome. I can't take you out there really because it's so windy. Like it's it really you wouldn't be able to hear me at all. Maybe we can go here. Maybe this is sort of sheltered from the wind. But yeah, there's a river. We were on the other side of the river last night. Remember the Lions? And uh, yeah, from this settlement here, you would be able to see whatever is happening over there. You know, whatever army is coming from there or from the other side. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, one thing that, that strikes me as weird, I don't even know if you can hear me, like, because I forgot the microphone, it's in a caboose, and the caboose is down there, but like, what struck me as weird is uh, these Bronze Age people picking their, their, their place for their settlement here, I kind of get it, you know, it's nice, you're like in the mountains, and you can look down, and whoever comes there, you, you, you know, ooh, we got an echo. All right. You wanna go in here? Hell yeah. What's up? Netflix room. PlayStation room. So like, hanging out here would be kinda cool. You know, like for a Bronze Age person. But then what I don't get is, what is with the wind? Like of all places, I don't know if the wind is just today, but I read some stuff online and people complaining about the wind, wind like visitors. So it must have been like often when people came here. And then I, I wonder, was it always this windy? Like even, I don't know, like when they, when they had the settlement here? Apparently they, they gave it up for some time during a, the uh, Arab conquest. And then again, uh, after the Mongolian conquest, which usually really puts an end to settlements. <laughs> That's sort of the, what the Mongolians did. But like, what's with the wind? You know, you want to hang out here and always have this wind? I don't know. Uh, and yeah, these uh, pillars there, obviously Soviet, trying to protect the structure. Which I guess, yeah, well, they tried. <laughs> All right, man, the night was weird. Dogs barking, and it wasn't cold because I have my winter sleeping bag now with me. But it was wet. Just morning dew started at I don't know eleven at night. Mm. Yeah, so like. Bronze Age you and Bronze Age me, we would be hanging out here, having some brews, looking down, maybe having some tea or some coffee, You're talking about life, doing our taxes.
It's uh, close to five in the afternoon. The road is quiet. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> and we have another 40 minutes of sunlight left. I guess. And maybe another road on the... No, another hour on the road. And then we're gonna reach Gori. Gori, which is uh, a town in Georgia. That supposedly has three things. <sighs> One, a castle. Two, uh, a museum where like with the birthplace of Stalin. Yes, <laughs> Stalin, that's Stalin. Uncle Joe is from here. And uh, third, I think uh, maybe we're gonna get lucky and find the Coat Museum, finally. So yeah, lots of sights here. Hmm. Lots of uh, mass murderers spotting and soda pop drinking. And why not? Uh, we need to get me some food though.